Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of the Mystic Access Podcast. I'm Kim. And I'm Lisa. And you may notice that someone's missing today. Yes, yes he is. So you get the ladies only version of the MA podcast today. And we hope Chris is having a great time doing some business travel. There were rumors that Catherine absconded Chris and was demanding a ransom. But so far they have been unsubstantiated. That's true. We shall let you know if we discover anything to the contrary of that. But very interesting, very interesting indeed. So we have a few topics to talk to you about today, and we're going to start with some things that are coming up very soon. In fact, one of them is coming up today. (laughs) So the day this podcast is released, you will be hearing about this if you are registered in our cord cutting class. The first class is on Tuesday, April 24th, the same day of the release of this podcast. We are very excited about this class. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to teaching it to you. And if you are not in it, there is still time to register. We are not going to close registration yet. So you still have a few days to register for this if it's something that interests you. And all the people who have been writing me asking me, yes, if you cannot attend at the time, if the time or the day of class does not work for you, all classes are recorded. So please don't let that be a hindrance to stop you from joining the class. It is $39 to register, and that is a steal because of all the wealth of content that we are going to be sharing with you and the demonstrations that we're going to be sharing with you in class. So we're going to be having this class for three weeks, April 24th, May 1st, and May 8th. And those are all Tuesday evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you haven't joined, if you want more information, definitely check it out. We will put a link in the show notes to the event, and you can join us for that. We would love to have you. We're also very excited to tell you about a free class. It is called Seek and Ye Shall Find, and it's going to take place Thursday, April 26th, also at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Do you ever find that you go to do a search about blindness and you come up with window treatments? (laughs) Or you're looking for maybe an obscure product and you know it's got to be somewhere out there on the internet and you just can't find it? Or maybe like me, You did a search for dog toys fairly early in your internet life, and you came up with toys of a totally different variety. (laughs) Yeah, it was a little embarrassing. (laughs) This class aims to give you some strategies. We're going to talk a little bit about selecting a search engine, but mostly what we're going to do is we're going to talk about tips and tricks that anyone can use to really hone down their search and search for and find. That's the important thing is to find exactly what you're looking for, whether that be song lyrics or obscure products or information. So we hope you'll join us for this class. We are already hard at work on May's class, and so we have have lots of exciting things coming up for you. We like to provide these classes as a way to give back to our community, but also to just make you aware of what we have. Maybe after listening to a class, you think, you know, I have this product or this piece of technology I'd like to learn. And this gives you an idea of our teaching style. And we would be thrilled, of course, if you would then decide to purchase one of our tutorials or get some instruction time with us. But again, if you come to our classes and you learn something, that's a win too. Absolutely. And the thing about this class and really about all of our classes that we really strive for that I particularly love is that it's pretty universal. So in other words, you may learn to set a search engine for your PC and then take that knowledge and apply it to your tablet. So no matter what platform you may be using at the time, you have the opportunity to take the knowledge you learn and transfer it from one platform to another to another. We do that a lot in our screen reader training as well. We try and teach really universal commands that will assist you no matter what screen reader you are using. So we really try to teach powerful material that is as useful to as many people as possible in as many circumstances as possible. So we're very proud of that, and we really hope you'll join us. We have a friendly group of people who come to these classes. There are new people all the time. We've had new people, I think, in the last three or four classes. So it's really fun to meet all of you and people from around the world join our classes. That is always a blast. 
one thing I want to add is that if you come to a class and you think, well, maybe eventually I'll get a tutorial, but I really would like to give back to MA for offering these great classes. We do take donations. They are not tax deductible, but we do take your donations. So if that is something that you would like to do, feel free to ask us about that. We'd be happy to help you via phone or you can donate on the website as well. So if that is something that interests you, both recurring and one-time donations are available. So those options are something you can discuss with us or check on the website. Either way, however you join, we appreciate you. We're thrilled to have you participating. And as usual, if you can't come to a class, it will eventually be posted in our free download section as long as the recording works and it wasn't a complete disaster. <laughs> so we will certainly share it with as many people as possible after the fact. But we'd love to have you live, so come join us. They say that women are the talkers, but I'm finding that due to Chris's absence, our podcast is a little shorter this time than it might normally be. <laughs> but that's all right, because it gives you plenty of time to get ready for our classes. In the meantime, Kim and I do have some information we'd like to share with you. First is a very brief discussion about a CD reader writer burner that I have. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about that and also why we are including that information here in the podcast. The last time I purchased a new computer, I was faced with a bit of a quandary. I could spend roughly $65 to get a CD burner installed, or I could do without. For a desktop, this might not be such a bad deal, but for a laptop, also having a CD-ROM drive installed meant it would be just that bit heavier when I was looking for lightness and portability. I find that I don't really need a CD-ROM drive all that much. Most of the information I get is either downloadable or comes on some other removable storage. I've ripped all my music, and that is stored on my computer, and I haven't purchased a physical CD in years. Yet, there are still some times that I find that I need to access the contents of a CD. The way that I solved this was to order an external drive. Now, I don't really think that there's anything special about the one that I ordered, but I'm mentioning this just so that you know such a thing exists. I feel like there should be a, quote, such a thing exists column or feature somewhere for blind people. For those of you who read our special magazine, I guess I'm thinking about something a little broader than their going shopping column. That column showcases new groceries or new packaging for items that are available in supermarkets. But this is kind of one of those things where if you could see, you might see that this is available. Or maybe you knew and you just didn't think about it. So let me tell you a little bit about what I got. It is a brand I've never heard of before called Cocopa, if that's how you pronounce it, C-O-C-O-P-A, and we will have a link in the podcast show notes to it on Amazon. It was about $26, and it was listed, at least at the time of this recording, as number one in portable CD-ROM drives. It's very slim and very light. Generally, I don't like things that have the cord hardwired into them, but in this case, it works. So the one end is hardwired into the CD burner, and the other end is a USB plug. And the device does use USB 3.0, by the way. The cord folds up into the back of the unit, so when you're not using it, it's just all very neatly compacted in on itself, no trailing cords, nothing like that. There is an eject button on the front, and that's about it. There's no software to install, nothing to set up, no compatibility issues. You can just plug and play and you can use it on a PC or a Mac. And once it's plugged in, it just acts like your regular CD-ROM drive. When I got it, I had a bit of a backlog, so I used it to rip the audio from about 20 CDs, and then I accessed text from about four or five more CDs, and I had no difficulties with it, no glitches, no anything, and was very happy with it. So I think this is a viable option for someone who doesn't necessarily need a CD drive all that much or doesn't necessarily want to carry it around with a laptop but still wants to have access. Any portable drive should do just fine for this purpose, but again, if you're interested in the specific one I got, it will be in the podcast show notes. I really liked hearing about that little burner. I like the fact that it's very affordable and it's something that you can have it if you need it. And if you don't need it, it can live in your desk drawer. 
So I think it's very handy to know about these things. Sometimes they're not things we think about in daily life. <laughs> and it's helpful to know that somebody else has used something and had success with it. Yeah, and sometimes as blind people, we don't even know that these things exist. Yep. I mean, each person's mileage may vary. You and I, Kim, may know that something exists, but someone else listening might not, and vice versa. So we love to share this kind of information, and this really is a nifty, sturdily made little piece of tech. And I find sometimes it depends on how observant and how talkative the person is whom you shop with. <laughs> so oh, yeah. That can make a big difference as well in kind of learning what's going on and what's there. I really don't like shopping with people who are like, okay, what do you need? Okay, let's go do it. I would much rather have someone who's fun and amusing and bounce around a little bit. Although, of course, there are times when you want to <laughs> go and get out quickly. But I find it more fun to shop with someone who's kind of interested in shopping. Speaking of shopping... Have you ever gotten back from a long day of doing anything, really? Shopping being one thing, but shopping, a long day at work, a long, just miserable day where nothing has gone right? Well, hopefully I will be sharing a solution for you that may assist you. And this is the first in a series. Do let me know if you like this series, and we will continue it in future episodes. But I'm sharing a couple of sound ambiences in this next insert that you're about to hear using the Google Home and A-Lady Virtual Assistants, A-L-E-X-A, Hopefully, they will supply a little bit of peace and relaxation to your life after particularly stressful days. Hi, everyone. Would you like to add a little bit of serenity, calm, focus, stress relief, or extra peace to your life and your home or your office environment? Well, today I'm hopefully going to share a couple of ways that you can do that. This may be the first in a series because there's lots I could share in this vein to assist you. I think it's very important to have a little bit of extra something in our lives that helps us to feel better and feel more calm and feel more centered, no matter what we're doing through the course of our day. And today I'm going to share with you two ambiences, two sound ambiences from Google Home and A-Lady, A-L-E-X-A, that will hopefully assist you in doing just that. Sound can really add to your mood and add to your life in so many ways. I'm one of those people, and I'm sure many of you are too, who really has to have music sometime throughout the day, and sometimes throughout the entire day, just to make life feel more complete, <laughs> and better, and happier, and saner. Well, sound in lots of forms can do that, and I'm a very huge proponent of that. And so, as part of this series, I may be sharing a couple of interesting, cool things with you, if this series, in fact, interests you. So, definitely let me know if you like it. Would love to know. And if you're using what we're going to be talking about here today, do let me know what you think and how you like it. Leave a comment in the show notes, or on the podcast comment line, or feel free to get in touch. Today we're going to talk about voice assistants and how they can assist with bringing sound and serene, peaceful, calm sound or uplifting sound, whatever you want, into your life. And I'm going to narrow this down to talk specifically about two different things that you can utilize. One is a skill that you can use with A-Lady and one is built into the Google Home. So you can use these with all of the A-Ladies for the Sleep Sounds skill. And you can use the built-in Google Home feature with all Google Homes, Mini, Google Home, and Max. We're going to start with Google Home. With Google Home, there are multiple noise tracks or ambient tracks or sound tracks <laughs> built in that you can utilize to enhance your atmosphere in whatever way you wish. You can use these to help you sleep, to calm you down, to relieve stress, to help you focus, concentrate, etc. You can use a few generic commands to ask her to assist you in relaxing or playing sounds, or you can get as specific as you would like. So let's try a few things. First, let's use one of the more generic phrases, and you can use either of her trigger phrases to begin this. Okay, G-O-O-G-L-E, or hey, G-O-O-G-L-E. <laughs> so, let's say, hey Google, help me relax. Playing relaxation sounds. And I'm using a regular sized <laughs> Google Home, so it's not the Mini or the Max, it's the one in the middle. And that really does sound excellent. Hey Google, what is this? You're listening to relaxation sounds. Hey Google, next. And I thought it would begin to play me another sound. Thus far it is not. Hey Google, play. And somehow I managed to Nothing is my playing right now. <laughs> hey Google. Previous. 
Nothing is playing right now. For whatever reason, when I said next, it did not allow me to play another sound. I thought it might be able to loop me through various sounds that I could play. So let's try this again. Okay, Google. Help me relax. Playing relaxation sounds. Hey, I got traffic sounds. I'm from the country. To me, this is not relaxing. <laughs> hey, Google. Play a different sound. I can play country night sounds, fireplace sounds, and many others. Hey, Google. Play country sounds. All right, country sounds by Jack Trees. Playing on Google Play Music. Uh, this is not what I wanted. Hey, Google. Country sound. Stop. As with many of these things, trial and error is sometimes necessary. Hey, Google. Play country night sounds. This is the sound of the country night. That's better. Now, I find that relaxing. I really don't know how much of an idea I can give you via this little speaker and my mic setup, but I hope it gives you some idea and you can hear all the crickets. Hey, Google. Help me relax. Playing relaxation sounds. Ocean. So we've had rain, we've had trucks, <laughs> we've had ocean, and we've had country night sounds. Hey, Google. What sounds can you play? I can play forest sounds, rain sounds, and many others. This gives me an idea. Hey, Google. Play ambient noise. Playing relaxation sounds. And we're back to country night sounds. So you can say that instead of help me relax. Or you can say something like, okay, Google. Play white noise. Here's what white noise sounds like. And there's some white noise. So what if we wanted to get more specific? about what we wanted to hear. I'm just letting you listen to this a bit. Hey Google, play relaxing sounds. Playing relaxation sounds. And now we're hearing fireplace. Hey Google, play forest sounds. Here's what a forest sounds like. Hey Google, play oscillating fan sounds. Here's the sound of an oscillating fan. Wow, and I thought that was traffic. <laughs> it's a fan. <laughs> hey, Google. Play outdoor sounds. Okay, outdoor sounds by Abbott Hayes. That's not Here what I want. Here it is on Google Play Music. Outside in hey, Google. The... Play rain sounds. Here's what rain sounds like. And we're back to that beautiful rain we played at the beginning. Hey, Google. Play river sounds. Here's what a river sounds like. Hey, Google. Play thunderstorm sounds. This is the sound of a thunderstorm. And from what I have read, Google will only continue to play these sounds for a maximum of an hour. Now let me show you one other really cool thing Google can do. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It sounds really good. <laughs> so there's rain and thunder here. Hey Google, set a sleep timer for 30 seconds. 
Office speaker will stop playing in 30 seconds. So she tells me. So we can listen for just a bit more. But as far as I know, these will only play for an hour and then they'll stop. Or we can set a sleep timer. Like we just did. If I said, hey Google, stop playing in two hours. Office speaker will stop playing in two hours. Well, maybe I changed my timer. The article that I've read to assist me with this research for this particular podcast insert may have been wrong. <laughs> that really does sound terrific. So if you have a Google Home, even with a Mini, I think these would sound good. You can utilize them to assist you. Anything from a crackling fire to an oscillating fan, which I thought was traffic, or we to rivers, nature sounds. There's a babbling brook as well. And you can check them out and see what may appeal to you. Hey Google, stop. The other thing I'd like to show you with Google is, hey Google, help me sleep. <laughs> and she'll play you a lullaby. Hey Google, help me sleep. Hey Google, help me sleep. Well, I thought she played different ones. But apparently she's only playing me this one right now. Hey Google, stop. And there may be other ways to trigger different sounds and songs. At one time I got nature sounds when I did something similar to that. And I'm pretty sure I got a different lullaby at some point too. So your mileage may vary with that. But I did want to show you that it does in fact exist. So now let's switch over to a lady and talk about the really cool skill you can utilize on her called sleep sounds. I know I've mentioned this on and off in the past, but I wanted to show it to you. And I also wanted to brag on the premium add-on that you can get for this skill. I have no affiliation with the skill, neither does Mystic Access, but Chris and I both have premium memberships to this skill because it is super cool. Now, one thing to note is because this is one of those sound skills, it really doesn't work on Sonos yet. Makes me sad. I have my dot mixed in here, so you do get to hear it though in nice, lovely, real-time sound. I'm going to show you how it works. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? What are my sounds? We have lots of sounds, so for your convenience, I've sent the list of sounds to your Alexa app. You can also see a full list at sleepsounds.io slash sounds. Here is the full list of sounds I can play. To interrupt me, just say Alexa. Beautiful dream. Brown noise. City rain. Heartbeat. Heavy rain. Jungle night. Mountain lake. Ocean. Rain. Relax. Of these. Babbling brook. Sleep little babies. Small lake. Alexa. Swiss massage. Play heavy rain. And it took just a second as you noticed. To begin. There it is. Alexa. Play ocean. Ocean waves by Joe Baker. And you see what happened there? It took me out of the skill. So to play something else, I have to say, Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Play crickets. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Play Swedish Massage. So here's something a little different for you. Alexa. 
Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Small lake. Alexa, what is this? Sorry, I'm not sure. So this doesn't sound like a lake, it sounds like a forest. So I'm not sure we're playing the proper sound here. It's really pretty though. And you can't ask for what you're playing, unfortunately. Alexa, set a sleep timer for five seconds. Sleep timer for five seconds. Starting now. And it just goes off abruptly like all of the A-Lady sleep timers do. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Sound story. I don't know how to play that sound. For a list of sounds that I can play, say list sounds. Random. Blizzard. So I was able to ask her for a random sound. Alexa. Next. Seaside. Alexa. Next. Vacuum. Like that one with me. Alexa. Next. Wind and trees. Alexa. Previous. Vacuum. Alexa. Music box. I thought there was one called music box. Alexa. Beautiful Dreamer. Did you mean play the song Beautiful Dreamer? No. Alexa. Ocean. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa. Stop. Alexa. Launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? The Ugly Duckling. Hello, my name is Jody Smith, and I'm going to read The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen to you tonight. Before I begin, take a few moments to snuggle up under the covers and get comfortable. Let your body and mind completely relax. Alexa. And let go. Stop. Apparently it's not called a sound story. It may be called a sleep story. <laughs> but there is a premium version of this skill. The free version allows you to play about 50 sounds. The paid version doubles it to about 100. It also plays stories. So there are specific stories that they can play for you. The other really cool thing you can do with sleep sounds with the premium version is what's called custom sounds. With that feature, you can combine up to three sounds to create your own custom soundscape. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? custom. Now you can get even more out of sleep sounds. We are very proud to announce our new premium membership. Get access to over 100 sounds and premium features, like creating playlists and the ability to combine sounds. Imagine how relaxing it will be to listen to ocean sounds with beautiful dream playing at the same time. You will also get access to higher quality versions of all the sounds. These new sounds and features are only available to premium members. To learn more, and to get an unbelievable price on our premium service, just enter sleepsounds.io forward slash membership in your web browser. Don't wait. This offer is only available for a limited time, so sign up today. Again, that's sleepsounds.io forward slash membership. Do it now before it's too late. Is there anything so, else I can help you with? Custom one. I'm a premium member, 
This is one of the custom sounds that I created. And it's just blending different sounds. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Custom 2. custom mix that I make. There's a heartbeat back there too. I don't know if you can hear it. Alexa, launch sleep sounds. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Custom 3. I don't know how to play that sound. For a list of sounds that I can play, say list sounds. Play ocean, beautiful dream, and crickets. You want to play Ocean and Beautiful Dream and Crickets. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. I've named your sound Custom 3 so you can refer to it later. Just say, play Custom 3 when you want to play your sound in the future. You can also say, delete Custom 3 to remove it from your custom sound list. We're at the ocean, we have music, and we have crickets. And it is quite nice. Alexa, stop. A couple of cool things that I failed to mention in this demo that you can do. One is to say pause and resume, and that works. At least it has been working for me if you're playing a sound. The other thing you can do to keep from saying launch sleep sounds every time is to say ask sleep sounds to play blah, and that should work as well. So if you're a premium member and you have custom sounds, or if there's a particular sound or a piece of music or something that you wish to play, you can just ask her to play it, and that should work as well. So it's just a cool thing that you can do. Now there are apps of course that you can go and you can buy for your iDevices or your Android devices or your Fire OS devices where you can mix your sounds and many of them allow you to have volume controls and things like that so you can choose how loud you want each volume to be. But for your A-Lady this is a really nice skill. It has a huge variety of sounds and music in it, and it's really just very relaxing. You can make your own ambient mixes, as you saw. You get twice the sounds. The other nice thing is, if you're using either the free skill or you upgrade to premium, it works on all of your A-Lady devices. So it's not just on one, it's on all of them. As long as they're all under the same Amazon account, they will all work with your premium subscription. If you want to learn more and you want to check out the website, it is sleepsounds.io. Or if you want to check out the premium membership, it's sleepsounds.io slash membership. And you can check that out and sign up for the premium. And it's a lifetime premium membership. Whatever features they add, you have them and you'll have them for life. So that gives you an idea. Hopefully that is something you enjoyed. And we will end this little insert by giving a lady the last word. Alexa, good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Before we close out this podcast, we'd like to say a very special welcome back to our Victor Reader stream listeners. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Humanware has issued an update to the Victor Reader stream that fixes this problem. So if you have friends who used to listen and maybe they're not, please do make them aware that the update is available so that they can rejoin us. Absolutely welcome back, you guys. It's so great to have you all back. Our numbers have just skyrocketed, so it's terrific to have you all back and catching up on episodes. 
And speaking of catching up and listening to things, don't forget about the really cool new announcements that we made in the last podcast. You can now listen to our podcast on the phone if that is something that interests you. With our podcast number, you can call and listen to the five latest episodes of the podcast. And they're cool ways to rewind and fast forward. It's really nice. Check out our last episode for a full demonstration. But to call and listen to the podcast on the phone, you can call 701-801-8527. And that will get you there. The other thing, speaking of listening, that you may want to check out is for those who are not as tech savvy, we have a full catalog of everything that Mystic Access offers on the phone. So you can call. And Catherine, if you did not catch Lisa's reference to Catherine at the beginning, our friendly new Mystic Access TTS company member (laughs) will be happy to walk you through the catalog and share everything that we have to offer. So just follow the prompts. It's very intuitive. You can use star to go backwards through menus. And we hope you like the experience a lot. We had a lot of fun putting it together and sharing it with you. And we hope that a lot of you will find it useful. You can press zero at any time to get in touch with us to place an order or ask additional questions. The catalog number is 716-404-4166. I find that catalog formats like that are also kind of nice when you're experiencing insomnia. Or maybe you're just waiting somewhere and you want to listen. It's very easy to just call up the number and listen to those products which are of interest to you. So certainly do check that out. Absolutely. We would love to hear from you via the catalog and definitely let us know if you find it helpful. We hope it's a cool new Mystic Access feature that you will greatly enjoy. And we hope you have enjoyed this somewhat abbreviated version of the podcast. You know, it's ironic, Lisa. Generally, if Chris is here, we're the ones doing all the talking. And today, we just don't have a lot of pithy things to say. (laughs) Exactly. But what we do have to say is hopefully helpful, useful, important. And so we don't really want to belabor the point when we don't have something to say. (laughs) So for now, we're going to say bye. Bye. The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access where the magic is in learning. To contact us, please visit www.mysticaccess.com. Call us, 716-543-3323, and press 2 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at show at mysticaccesspodcast.com, and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? please tell your friends and colleagues to visit us at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy what you hear on our podcasts, feel free to leave us an iTunes rating and review. We certainly appreciate those. Also, you may feel free to use our podcasts in your own RSS feed. Just be sure that all of our contact information is left intact. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for listening. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode.